Now, President Obama doesn't agree with me. Surprise, surprise. And he had a famous speech a few months ago, well, maybe it's over a year ago, uh, that has been titled, The You Didn't Build That Speech. Because in the speech he said to businessmen, to people who engage in activities of business, he said, you didn't build it. Not by yourself, he had employees. You had a great teacher in high school that's responsible for your success because she inspired you. You drove on government roads, and therefore society invested in those roads, so they own a piece of it. You didn't build it, we built it. If you know a little bit about um, American politi political history, I guess, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton had a book uh, years ago called It Takes a Village. And that's the attitude, right? You don't do stuff by yourself. You need other people to produce stuff. I mean, Steve Jobs did not do this by himself, right? He needed employees and he needed designers and all kinds of people in order to make this. And of course, he drove on the roads and he went to the schools and everything. And that's the reason, they say, that wealth should be considered social. Because all of us did it together. Really? So yes, Apple has employees, I have employees, any business has employees, but you know what? We pay them, they get paid. That's the return they get on being employees. And they get paid better than any other alternative they have. Otherwise, what would they do? Leave and go and work for somebody else. And you know what? Every business, and I know this will come out as a shock to you guys, and, and will be a little depressing. But every single business that ever employs you will make a profit off of you. You'll get a little bit less than what you're worth to the business because nobody's gonna hire you to lose money for them. They hire you to make money for them. So they're gonna make a profit off of you in any job that you have. It's just like the iPhone and me buying it, right? When you take a job, you know, you're coming out of Exodus, or what, 60,000 uh, pounds a year? You know, I'll be generous, right? <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. That sounds like a lot of money. That's a lot of money. If you accept a job for 60,000 pounds, how much is your time worth to you? Less than 60,000. That's why you're willing to take 60,000 to give your time to this company, to whoever's employing you. How much is your time worth to your employer? More than 60,000, they're making a profit off of you. Who's lost? Nobody. No exploitation, no, right? It's a choice. It's a trade. Win-win, just like when you buy the iPhone or you buy the nice shoes or you buy anything else in the mall. Labor is the same type of trade. Win-win. You wouldn't take it if you're not gonna be better off by doing it. So, labor, employees, yeah, they've been paid for. And, and indeed, uh, Microsoft produced more millionaires than any company in human history, because they were paid well. Apple employees are paid very well, at least in the US. We can talk about Chinese employees if you want. So, yeah. People help you build it, and they get paid for it. And what you get is what's remaining, which is the CEO, the Steve Jobs, who has the ideas, who organizes it all. And he gets more than everybody else. You know what? Because he's more valuable than anybody else. Economically, in terms of production, in terms of value to the economy, in terms of value to your lives, he's more valuable. So he gets more. What about, uh, what about the roads? Right? Government roads, you're using them every day. Don't you owe society something for the government roads? Or Steve, I'm, I'm talking about Steve Jobs or, or, or Bill Gates or any rich guy. Right? Well, where do government roads come from? Taxes. From taxes. And who gets taxed? The wealthy. the wealthy gets taxed the most. They're paid for the roads. 
They pay for it all the time. Indeed, you don't have roads until you have wealth. We, 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 we in the modern times, we think that government somehow has money and they create stuff and then we build on top of that. No, government is nothing until business actually builds stuff, creates some wealth, which then can be stolen from it to build roads and other stuff. The primary is not government. There are no roads, good roads, until you have tax money to build the good roads. So somebody has to produce something so that you can tax it so that you can build stuff. The primary is production. The primary is the making of stuff. So we paid for the roads. What more do you want? It doesn't mean the product of societies. It doesn't mean the wealth of societies just because I paid for a road that I'm using. And then, of course, there's a teacher. We all had a great teacher in our childhood. At least some of you did. I, I don't remember any of my teachers from my childhood. Um, but that, just because I have a bad memory, doesn't mean they weren't any good teachers. I'm sure they were. Absol abs let's leave it for the Q&A, because otherwise, right? Just remember the question. We'll do it in the Q&A. Um, what about the teacher? Well, A, they get paid. That's their job. They do a good job. That's wonderful that they do a good job. And, but if, you really, if you're rich and you really had a good teacher, then I think it would be nice and just if you went to that teacher, thanked her, and you know, wrote her a nice check. That would be cool. That's great. But I don't think we should impose that on you. I don't think you should feel guilty because you had a good teacher. I don't think because you had a good teacher, society owns the stuff that you make. It doesn't give society a right to your value, to what you produced. So I don't buy, and I don't think anybody should buy this idea that society owns our wealth. Individuals produce wealth, and therefore, it should belong to individuals, and individuals should decide what and how to spend their wealth, what to do with that wealth. It's none of our business. 